lines and I'm going to use this stuff to make sure that it creates a good seal. This is the fatter line. It's pretty easy to tell them apart. One of them is like twice the size of the other line. These have these little threaded caps that come off. And you can see the quality of this. There's like o-rings inside there. The last mini split I installed had a leak at one of the fittings and it was just terrible to deal with. I had to hire an AC guy to come out and try and fix it and he was able to refill the refrigerant. He got it to work for the most part for a little while and then it just started to just started to fail again. It wasn't a good a good flare fitting is what my theory is. I didn't know about this stuff. Apparently this is what some of the pros use in the AC world from what I've heard. So hopefully this does the trick. All right, let's go get the torque wrench. We're going to tighten this down. We got everything hooked up to the inside half of the split. I just got to kind of fish all these wires and drains and stuff through the wall and see if we can get this thing to snap into place here. Yeah, let me hold this up while you kind of start pulling them just very slowly. Don't like try and rip them through there because it's sharp. You know what I mean? So if I have to get up on that ladder. Yeah, pull all of them. And then eventually let's pull the wire. Okay, got it. Got it, it's in. So Mark's just zip tying all along here. Let's make it a little bit cleaner. This is line management. And if you don't, cows will eat these. Yeah, we don't need any cows eating our copper wiring and electrical. So is this pretty easy to install? Honestly, yeah. Um, and it's cool because like the last one I did, I had to I had to connect a vacuum pump to this fitting right here and suck a vacuum into these lines before you release it. With this setup, it's crazy. You like, you just tighten these on there and you hear it go once you get it tight enough like there. I think that the lines are like pre-vacuum charged or it might have nitrogen or something in it. Um, so it just makes it way easier. I have the vacuum pump, but just not having to do that is a big help. And it looks like these fittings are super duper high quality. There's even like, there's even like cotter pins to, so that they can't work their way loose. You can put this cotter pin into the fitting like that. So it's not going anywhere. So is this like the factory gas that was yeah. in it? Uh huh. That's the R410A. Since I got all these sealed up. Yeah. So we got all these panels laid out here. There's six of them total. We're gonna daisy chain them together. They are so very hot. It's not even that bad out, but the sun's been blistering on us for the last couple hours and we're ready for some AC. So let's hope there's no leaks, no other issues, and we'll be cooling off in no time. Good morning. So it's the next day and um, we slept all night. It actually got down to a pretty chilly temperature last night, but in the morning we wanted to fire this thing up to see how it was doing um, the next day. And here it is, it's running. This is the AC. So this is, it says 16 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 60 degrees. Um, it is blowing freezing cold. So I would call that a success. And what's cool is we're running this without any batteries and without a generator, it's just silent. Right now we temporarily have our panels outside this window, just, just to make sure that everything's functioning. So I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. So here's the exterior unit running. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone, but it's very quiet. This is what we did, we ran the lines up the shade structure pole across and into the trailer here so we got to put the putty in there and then we're going to tape over these lines today with uv protective tape here's the drain line so this will collect condensation it's a pretty dry day today so i don't think we're going to get that much of it but that's it and it's currently running off of these panels 
So we've got the AC lines right here um, that we're finally getting insulated. Mark's uh, put foam around the lines and now he's putting all weather uh, ducking tape basically around it. Um, and then this came with the AC unit. It's just like a little cover and then we're gonna putty over that um, to make sure that it's completely sealed off. Why is that? Did it need to be sealed? Yeah, well, <laughs> we kind of procrastinated on sealing it off because we just didn't have all the materials to do it. And so last night we came home from Home Depot and running errands and there were a bunch of dead bees all over the living room. And I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and then it took us a few, few minutes because the condensation of the water was attracting them and they started coming through the wall and through the AC unit and into the house. So we're getting this taken care of first thing this morning so this doesn't happen. I don't want dead bees and I also don't want bees living in our house or in yeah, the walls of our trailer. Bees. They're, killer, they're killer bees. Yeah, they're killer bees. Um, yeah. They're not to be messed with. <laughs> and uh, living out here in nature, they will see resources that we provide and we'll make a house out of it. So. Yeah, I don't blame him. I would too. So Mark's finishing this up and then we should be all set with the AC unit install. Well, minus we got to set these up. We got um, all the screws in the mail yesterday to finish the solar array. So we're hoping maybe by end of, maybe tomorrow we'll start putting solar panels oh, up. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Woo! Ooh, I'm excited. Big... We're gonna put all the uh, Unistrut beams in place. That'll be a pretty big project for today. Fun times on the Bizbone Ranch, guys. Our generator went out yesterday that powers our well house to pump water out of the ground. So thankfully, we just filled up this water cistern here um, last time we were out here. So it's full of water and we can fill this bucket up to put in our 50 gallon um, water jug that's attached to our water pump and or water pump and trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, it wasn't that many, but still, it's just a little break in the day. Yeah. Hey, and can I sound off for a second? I, you guys probably already know about my despise of generators. So this is just uh, one more reason why we're going to become completely solar powered, completely independent of generators, gasoline, um, any expenses really. So it's just another kick in the butt to try and get some of this work done. So just more motivation to finish these solar panels. I know, we almost got them up yesterday and for some reason we can't find the bolts. <laughs> <laughs> we bought this stuff months ago. Like when I designed this building, this structure, I uh, bought all the hardware I needed and they just put, got put in a box somewhere. Who knows where they're at? Like we've been traveling a lot, we're all over the place, so they're missing. But it gave me time to finish some things I wanted to do before I put the panels up. Like I really needed to put the, the cross bracing up on the structure before we put the panels up and I feel like maybe I was cutting corners by wanting to get the panels up first yeah, just to have some sure. shade and just to have everything operational but you know what things happen for a reason and I think it's just we're on the safer side knowing that the cross bracing is going to be up before we put the panels up so who knows we could have one crazy windstorm and just blow everything off from crazy shaking or the wind like who it's knows something we can't rush and yeah we're not going to yeah we want this thing to be stable and to last forever yeah yeah and uh the bolts are on their way 
two days shipping with Amazon. We tried to go into town uh, at Ace yesterday. It was going to cost us almost a hundred dollars. Yeah, and, and they didn't have enough. They had yeah. like they had like eighteen of them, and I needed like a lot more than that. Like yeah, and I was going to be hundred hundred dollars for eighteen yeah. of them. Where we got how many for? I think I got like bucks? sixty of them on yeah. Amazon for twenty bucks, and they're stainless steel. They're the same thing as what they were selling at Ace. And I get it. Like I try to support local and support small businesses, but. I just, you know, this is a lot of nuts and bolts and they didn't have enough to do the project. Yep, unfortunately, but it's all good. It's yeah. coming tomorrow and we're moving right along. So we'll keep you updated.